Boy here. So today I thought I'd share another uh, sample whip or work in progress. This one is a little bit different though because this is actually a book that I've already published. It's been out for a while and um, you know people seem to like it but I as an indie, um, there's kind of two kinds of indies and I won't make this long. Um, there are those of us who always knew we wanted to be writers and that's you know what we set out as our career. We've been classically trained and you know that's what you know we do we're writers but then there's people like me who had other careers and things never really knew that this is what I wanted to do and so I've kind of had to learn things along the way and me saying that is not an excuse because there's a lot of people out there publishing just because they can and they shouldn't really be doing that um, but you know there's a large community of us who really put a lot of time and effort and work um, into making quality books and I feel like that's what I've done. But with that um, being said, I'm constantly learning because I wasn't classically trained. There's things that um, I'm constantly learning to improve my work. And so I'm actually kind of working on some, um, rewriting a couple of scenes from the first book that I published. And um, what I'm going to share with you today isn't a new scene. It's it's a book, it's, it's already in the book, but this is kind of um, a way that I'm reimagining it to make it a little bit more Vivid, um, and the it's from Eternal Curse, Giovanni's Angel, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Smoke wafted across his face as he peered down the mountain of flattened bodies, their ghostly spirits shrieking as they retreated from the stiffening corpses. His eyes squinted against the brightness of heavenly light, saturating the scene of bloody war. Fluffy clouds and the smell of rose water churning his stomach as the stench of flesh and brimstone mixed in. Sweat and chills competed for dominance over his skin as nausea claimed his posture, unable to balance the cool of heaven and the heat of hell. Shielding his unarmed body from the slaughter of the battle as best he could, Giovanni was stunned in a gaze of awe and admiration of a victorious warrior at the top of the mountain. Chest heaving and muscles pulsing, the victor stood over his enemy with a look of disgust. Turning away from his own glowing reflection, the warrior tossed his golden shield, adorned with silver spikes to the ground, and began to pray. Pristine white wings soaring behind him slowly ascended into a cradle around his young foe as he pulled the diamond clusters of his blade, of his blade sword from the boy's body. Giovanni, for some reason he couldn't begin to understand, found himself floating above this unidentified angel, looking down into the face of his slain enemy. The angel's golden fingers slid down the boy's face in an intimate gesture Giovanni couldn't begin to understand at the time. Immediately, he was too preoccupied trying to understand the anatomy of this strange slain boy. His golden body, not unlike that of the angel, seemed pliable as it curled comfortably into a circle with his head pressed into his feet. He seemed to be a living will with skin dotted and crying eyes, forever shrouded in sadness and defeat. Only the eyes on his face seemed to register the grief of his victor moments before his last breath. The angel slid his hand down the boy's face once more closing his eyes to the death that awaited him as all the eyes on the boy's body sealed closed. So I hope you enjoyed that little sample of some of the improvements that I'm trying to make to Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel and uh, I hope you check it out. So uh, bye for now.